Hello dear students, uh, welcome to the 5th lecture of the, the data collection and the pathway. And up to the 4th lecture, we discuss the different methods of the data collection. And this is the 5th lecture, we are going to discuss one of the important techniques for the data collection that is the content analysis and what is the question. There is a tool for collecting the data, it is a question. These are two important elements that are involved in this lecture. The first, what you mean by this content analysis and another one is uh, what you mean by this questionnaire. Okay, the let us start the first element is what you mean by content analysis. As a research point of view, the content analysis is very important element. What you mean by the team is the content analysis. A content analysis means is a tool for identify the contents in the each activities. That is the simple meaning of the content analysis. It is one of the important research tools and to determine the presence of the certain words, themes or the concepts within the qualitative data. To measuring the presence of the certain words, themes and the concepts within the qualitative data. The theme is known as the content analysis. Suppose you are whenever reading the book, measure the contents in this book. That is the content analysis. So suppose you are reading certain books and can be easily caught. These are the basic contents in the books. So that is a part of the content. We do the directly or indirectly the content analysis that is the situation. A Pustam Vaishin, Namadi Rada Shuikiana, in the content of the Chuicha, we can be easily specified. Namkwala Petan Paradana and the content of the Namla Paranodanator, So that is the meaning of the content analysis. That may determine that the presence of the certain words, themes, or the concepts within some qualitative data. The theme is known as the, the content analysis. As a research point of view, using the content analysis, analyze the presence and the relationship, certain words, themes, and the concepts. This is point of the content analysis we use So easily measuring the relationships, words, themes We use the word, the themes Suppose one of the important examples we use in the word is the quarantine What is the quarantine? It is related to today's social relationship, social status Because quarantine is the word that we use the current scenario So how the quarantine is related? That is the content analysis we can do the content analysis because quarantine comes as part of the corona. Corona is a bargain that we have to use during the quarantine. That is why we have to use the word in the word. But in the quarantine, we have to use the word in the word. That is the example regarding the content analysis. So, the content analysis is like a research tool used to determine the presence of the certain words, themes, or the concepts within the some qualitative data the theme is known as you are the the content analysis that means to measure uh, that means the relationships of the words themes and easily measured with help of the content analysis suppose you're reading an article and can measure and the contents of measure and it is basic contents draw the content analysis suppose the literature review and the body push them then, you can see the content analysis. That is a part of the content analysis. The team is known as a content analysis. It's like a research to determine the presence of the certain words, themes, concepts within the some given qualitative data. The team is the, the content analysis. And these are the uses of the content analysis. As a research point of view, the, what are the important uses of the content analysis? The first important use is identify intentions focus or communication trend of the individual group of the institution to identify the intention of the particular individual of the group to identify the intentions the first important use of the content analysis is to make the uh, identify the intention of the individuals group of the institutions that's the first important use of the analysis content analysis there is a first important use of content analysis identify the intention, focus, the communication of an individual or the group or the institutions and second one is describe the attitudinal and the behavior response of the communications to measuring the behavior response of the communication suppose you contact the content analysis can be measure the behavior response of the respondents. The second important use is the behavior response of the communications. And third is determine psychological or the emotional state of person or the group. The content analysis, as 
suppose your research is using the content analysis is a, it's like a psychology suppose we can easily draw the emotional feeling of certain person with the help of that uh, content analysis to identify the emotional feelings and third one is reveal the intention differences in the communication content suppose using certain words we use some words in some 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 words ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ ചില വേർഡ്സ് നമ്മൾ മലയാളത്തിൽ യൂസും തമിഴിൽ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന തമ്മിൽ ഒരുപാട് വ്യത്യാസങ്ങളുണ്ട് അല്ലേ ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ എക്സാമ്പിൾ പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഒരുപാട് വേർഡ്സ് നമ്മൾ മലയാളത്തിൽ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ചിലപ്പോൾ തമിഴിൽ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടായിരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ അവിടെ അതിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥങ്ങൾ ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ചിലപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് കാണാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കും അപ്പോൾ ചിലപ്പോൾ ചില കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റിയിൽ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന വേർഡും ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് മീനിങ്സ് ഉള്ളതായിരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ അത് നമുക്ക് വളരെ പെട്ടെന്ന് ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ ചെയ്ത് കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ കണ്ട് അനാലിസ് കൊണ്ട് സാധിക്കാറുണ്ട് സോ ദറ്റ്സ് എ റിവീൽ ദ ഇൻറ്റൻഷണൽ ഡിഫറൻസ് in the communications okay that is the fourth use of the content analysis and another one is reveal the patterns of the communication content pattern of slang and we are able to trishur palakkad then kottayam ivada nammal kai jeevikkunnundu pakshe avare communication vena slang 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 very different a style of presentation la oru vaadi difference kaana sari adu valare one by one namukku identify the wonder pala polum content analysis undu sadikkaradu so it's a reveal the patterns in the communication content that's another important use of the, the content analysis then another the pre test uh, improve the intervention or the survey the prior to the launch pre test idund pala polum pala karyangalu namukku or survey nadathana pala polum content analysis sadikkarathu so let's suppose nammal an example like nammal ibadoru textile company start cheyyanu textile company start cheyanagala munba avadha namukku avadha aalkarude attitudes oru paridhi vara namukku content analysis identify cheyan sadikkum so the pre testing with help of this content analysis another one is analyze the focus group interview or open ended questions to complete the qualitative data so analyze the focus group for a group discussion la avare each and every activities identify and palapun content analysis useful a irukum analyze the focus group of the interview open ended questions to complete the qualitative quantitative data and these are the use of the content analysis okay the one like the first one identify the intentions of the particular individual or the group a second describe the attitudinal behavior response to the communication and third one determine the psychological emotional elements of the groups and reveal the intra interna, uh, international difference in the communications content and reveal the patterns in the communication and another one is pre testing and analyze the focus group of interview so these are the important use of the content analysis and we will discuss the, what are the different types of content analysis a content analysis can be classified two as a research as a research point of view the content analysis is classified two one is a conceptual point of view another is a relationship point of view so let us discuss the first important category of the content analysis is a conceptual analysis conceptual analysis means is a purely de- depends upon certain concepts suppose if a study the physics has a, physics has certain concept suppose you are studying commerce the commerce has certain concepts so this type of analysis is focusing on this contents and the conceptual okay you got a conceptual kind of importance like concept analysis important concepts in importance will concept is chosen for examination and analyze involve the quanti- quantifying and the counting process pala pol namku chala content content analysis very important element and concepts like is a physics there's e equal to mc square this is one of the important concept of the physics physics is a very important concept and e equal to uh, mc square and suppose an accounting point of view as a commerce student's point of view as it's equal to there's a formula as it's equal to equity and equity means liability plus the capital that's a equation of the accounting equation. that's an equation regarding the accounting that's a part of the content analysis so here a content analysis point of view is conceptual sorry is a conceptual analysis point of view is focusing on the certain concepts this concept is essential for this activity as a accounting concept is very important element as an accounting point of view is not the accounting concepts and is a scientific point of view is not a scientific concept so this type of the content analysis is purely focusing on the concepts so that is known as the conceptual analysis and what the important steps for the content in the uh, content analysis what are the uh, what steps followed for conducting the conceptual analysis the so first important step is to decide the level of analysis the first one is to decide the level of analysis that means word word of sense phrase sentence everybody on content analysis so decide the level of analysis and second one is to decide how many concept to code etra concept gal ayil verunnundu 
suppose in example decide either a allow to flexibility or the category of the either according the b selbo namukku pala ponum parayam nammal concept analysis gal cheyana samayathu um etra concepts ku avadu importance varunnade for example account equations create cheyumbo avadu rendu concept ni valare important aanu asset galkum equities appo equity ennane that is sub concept und liability plus capital aanu inde sub concept aayittu varunnu appo adondu how many concepts is coded avada etra concept gal verunna adine kurichu oru basic idea undayi the first one is decide the level of analysis second one is decide how many concepts are using your analysis and third one is the decide whether to code for existence or frequency of the concept that means in certain courts can only namke at in part decide whether whether to call for the existence existence and frequency of the concept the decision change of the coding process namku arayam ini pala polum ee nammal data prime data collect cheyumbo nammal collect cheyna data informations okke jalba qualitative aayam pakshe qualitative nu nammalku pala polum quantitatively counter undu aayittu quantitatively counter aayam vendi nammal endu delicate scale use cheyandu ibada namku adey pole thana pala polum decide to decide whether to code the existence or the frequency nammal oru kaari etra thavana use cheyidittane kurichu or idea avadu undayirikkum that is third step and fourth one is the decide how you will be distribution among the concept you ningal or concept adu frame cheyunengil ningada concept etrathola in different ait po mattulla concept na etrathola vyathisam aayittu ningada concept vaanathu that is fourth step is decide how you will be distribution among the concepts okay and fifth one is this uh, developing the rule for coding your text rules ningal codes create cheyum and rules create cheyan vaana parayu appo concepts il oru poru podi concepts gal create cheyunengil aa concept varanayitte endakke rules illa angal follow cheyidu coding rules gal velum follow cheyidu texting rules velum avada follow cheyidu adu namukku specify cheyandi varum that's the fifth one is uh, developing the rules for coding your text and sixth one is decide what do irrelevant in, what do with your irrelevant information should be, uh, should be ignore irrelevant informations try to ignore pala polum kuru concept frame cheyana namukku irrelevant informations na possibility undu and try to ignore this the information and the seventh one is code the text this can be done by the hand or using softwares namukku code cheyam spsc use cheyana pala polum namukku code cheyarundu so adu software kode namukku code cheyidirukkanadu so there is a coding of the test and eighth one is analyzing the result the final one is the final step is analysis there is a draw the conclusion and generalization of the concept these are the important steps for this conceptual analysis listen the first one is decide the level of analysis second one is decide how many uh, how many concepts that you coded third we decide whether to code its existence or frequency of the concept and another fourth step is decide how you will be distribution among the concept and fifth one is develop the rule for coding your text and sixth step is decide what do with the relevant information that means should be avoided and seventh one is code the text that should be done by the hand by hands so like a software so namku sps thing cheyana mare software vechu kondu palapon pala karyangal avadu cheyana adu sadikkum and this last one is analyze your result the draw the conclusion and generalization were as possible uh, these are the important steps for the conceptual analysis content analysis the conceptual analysis once again this is focusing on certain concept one of the important example the physics is focusing on the concept e equal to mc square i know the accounting that's but certain concept that is accounting equation as equal to equity the equity means your liability plus capital these are examples regarding the concepts of analysis okay now for the concept analysis and another one is the relation analysis and the first one focusing on the concepts and the relation analysis of focusing on certain relationships suppose correlation there is a relation the relation between the x and the y and the this type of the content analysis is focusing on the relationships a relation analysis begins like concept analysis and where the concept is chosen for the examination e padanaana ningal or concept apply cheyana sramikkanadu appo enginiyana aa concept like ningal ethi aa concept ne ningal enginiyana apply cheyanadu adana relationship analysis concept analysis concepts frame cheyunu adu apply cheyanadu enginiyana avade aa relational content analysis kanan ayittu sadhik and here analysis involving the exploring the relationship between the concepts exploring the relationships between uh, between the concepts so there is a certain concepts uh, suppose an example an accounting equation there is a concepts asset and the equity these are two important concepts and what is equity equity means the liability plus the capital that is the relationship the equity means you are the liability plus capital illa namukku ariya asset asset equal to equity nu parayam so equity endu parayam the liability plus capital aanu so that is exploring this relation between the concepts 
the team is going to give the relation analysis the individual concepts are viewed and sort of inherent meanings adu namukku ariya ariyapadatha meaning kandathi kondirumbala namukku aa content analysis relational content analysis importance varadu or relationship nammal prove cheyanana shramikkanam the type of the content analysis known as the relational content analysis okay and these are the sub categories of the content analysis the first one is the effect extraction proximity analysis and the cognitive mapping these are three important sub categories of your the relational analysis the first one is effect extraction that means is emotional evaluation concept that's mainly it's team is known as emotional evaluation concept and this method is that emotion can vary across time and population and space okay but emotion is an important source effect extraction means it's like an emotional evaluation concept right to explicit in the text kanam avada pala polum emotional ne aanu important emotion feelings ku kanu avada kodale importance kodu that's a relationship engane emotion might relate to kodukana and second one is a proximity analysis it's like an an evaluation of the co occurrence of the explicit concept in the text that means ivada namma nertha kandupidicha aashayangalum aithe thodalum explicit aanu concept implicit and explicit question padu alle thodalum explicit aayi concept kedukunna namma proximity analysis check here that is a explicit concept and the third one is cognitive mapping the cognitive mapping at to create the model for the overall meaning of the text graphics so create in the overall model cognitive mapping le kaana relationship and overall model le creation kaana sorry so these are three important sub categories of the relation analysis one is the effect extraction the effect extraction mainly for the emotional evaluation of the system a proximity analysis means there is a explicit concept in the text third one is cognitive mapping cognitive mapping means it's creating the model for the overall meanings of the text okay these are the three sub categories of the the relation analysis and the relation analysis that relational content analysis means is involving the exploring the relationship between the concepts a concepts is a part of the very concept analysis and in conceptual analysis the concept chosen for examination and analysis involve the quantifying and continuing the process so that is a two important element is a two important types of the content analysis one is a conceptual analysis focusing on the concepts and the relational analysis focusing on the relationship okay about the general steps of conducting the relational analysis so is like you are the concept uh, uh, conceptual analysis there is a different steps for relational content analysis the first one is a determine the type of analysis is the same step there is a determine which type of the analysis is going to conduct one sample has been selected there is a prime popular study or the sample study there is a first important step is to determine the types of analysis second one is reduce the text categories called for the words and pattern that means is the coding system is another important element that means uh, reduce the text to category and code for the words or the pattern namukku ariyam age education അപ്പോൾ ഏജിന് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ കോഡ് കൊടുക്കും നമ്മൾ അല്ലെ എസ് എസ് പി എസ് ഒക്കെ ചെയ്യണം ഏജ് ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു ഏജിൽ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് കാറ്റഗറി വൺ ടു ത്രീ ഫോർ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇസ് വൺ ടു ത്രീ ഫോർ ദെൻ ജെൻഡർ മെയിൽ ഇസ് വൺ ഫീമെയിൽ ടു സോ ദിറ്റ് ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് എലമെൻറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ കോഡ് ഫോർ ദ വേർഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ പാറ്റേൺ ആൻഡ് തേർഡ് വൺ ഇസ് എക്സ്പ്ലോർ ദ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്സ് ആൻഡ് തേർഡ് വൺ ഇസ് എക്സ്പ്ലോർ ദ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഏജ് ആൻഡ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ബേസിക് റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ആൻഡ് തേർഡ് വൺ ഇസ് എക്സ്പ്ലോർ ഇൻ ദിസ് റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് and fourth one is code of the relationships the difference in the conceptual and the relational analysis statement is known as your the, the code of the relation so find out the differences between the conceptual point of view and the relational analysis point at this between the team is known as the code relationship the fourth one is conducting the code relationships and fifth one is performing statistical analysis that means using the statistical technique for getting out the result that is a performing statistical analysis and sixth one is the mapping out of your the representation that means uh, the decision mapping and the mental models making the certain models based on your the analysis and these are the six important steps are related with the, the relation content analysis the first one is the determine the types of analysis second one is reduce the text of the categories and codes of the words third one is exploring the relation between the concepts and the code of the relationship and performing statistical analysis and the last one is your the map out the representations and these are the important steps for conducting your the relational content analysis so once again the content analysis and classified to the one is a conceptual point of view another one is a relation point of view these are the important steps as per the the relation content analysis point of view. okay the content analysis mean analyze the contents in the each and every activities in the books and activity the same is for content analysis 
determine the presence of certain words, themes, or the concept within the some qualitative data that is known as your the, the content analysis. And these are the uses of the content analysis. And these are different types of the, the content analysis. And what are the advantages of the content? Suppose you are doing the activity of the content analysis. For your research, what are the important advantages? The first advantage is that the directly examine the communication using text. Can text we can be easily communicated with the using text. Text will be shown to all the pattern communication and so on. Because our content is measured. Suppose word by measurement, an activity by measurement. So can directly examine the communication using text. The second one is is allow for the both the qualitative and the quantitative analysis. Can easily done. Qualitative style of analysis and quantitative style of analysis with the help of the content analysis. That is the second important one is this ensuring the qualitative and the quantitative analysis. And third is provide the variable historical that past informations are available with the help of the content analysis. This historical cultural insight over the time. So this third is the historical and the cultural insights and allow the closeness to the data. That means almost adequate data with the help of your the Content analysis can ensure in the good data for the research work. It's allow the closeness to the data, and code from the text can be statistically analyzed. And uh, another one is provide the insight into complex model and human thought and the language can be easily identify the complex models with the help of the um, uh, that means provide the insight to the complex model. Content analysis provide the insight to the complex uh, model, then unobstructed obstructive obstructive means analyzing the interactions can be easily identify the means of analyzing interaction so and obstructive and another one is uh, when it is a uh, relatively exact the research method that means most useful for the, the research method and these are the important advantages of the content analysis so listen the content analysis means the measure in the contents in the niche activity that measure in the contents in the book suppose in the books why is a book still the content and identify and it's a part of the content analysis. The content analysis, but these are the advantages. Can directly examine both the qualitative and quantitative analysis possible, provide the valuable historical information, allow the closeness to the data and call from the text and analyze the interactions and provide the insights and when done well is considered whether relatively an exact research method. It's one of the important powerful tool of the research method. And these are the important advantages of the content analysis. Okay, and what are the limitations? Suppose the every kind of limitation, and these are the drawback of the content analysis. The one is is a time consuming, the extremely time consuming process, and there may be chance for the errors, increasing the with the chance for errors in the content analysis. And another one is the the avoid divide the theoretical base, attempt the liberally to draw the meaningful inference. So that means that the chance for the theoretical mistake as part of the content analysis. Then third limitation is often a devoid of the theoretical base. And another one is the inherently reduce you, particularly when the dealing with the complex test. It means reductive modes go to the theoretical background which we ignore the don't run. Panganid law possibilities and another one is tend to often simply consist of the word by count. That means too often simply consider the word counts no current can be difficult to automate the computerize. Uh, means um, uh, automatic to computerize side is a lot of difficulties or a failure and also often uh, disregards in the context of the product and text as well as the state thing that had been produced. With all the major drawbacks, but there are a chance in the content analysis. The one is a time consuming another one is a uh, errors and subjects. Uh, another one is a uh, theoretical based mistakes where I'm reductive reductive by the moral possibilities and then automatic I to counter and the computer is to the computer and the okay these are the the massive drawbacks of the the content analysis so and uh, the first one the advantages and these are the limitations of the content analysis and let let us go into the another important element is the, the da tools for the data collection okay and you know so just ending this method so the primary data collection method the observation interview presentation mail survey and the content and all are the important methods regarding your the primary data collection and to discuss what are the important tools of the data collection and the tools are basically classified to the one is a questionnaire another one is schedule and rating scale and checklist these are the important tools for the data collection engineer primary data collector that means tools 
questionnaire, observation schedules, rating scale, checklist, and interview schedule. These are the important tools for the data collection. Let us discuss the first important tool is your questionnaire. Okay, the questionnaire. This first important element of the primary data collection method is a questionnaire. The questionnaire is the most important tool for the data collection. And what is the questionnaire? The questionnaire is a, like a statement. It is a bunch of the questions are given to the respondent for getting the getting the information. So the team is known as your the questionnaire. This uh, preparing your the questionnaire and sending, uh, preparing the giving to your the respondents the respondents and fill in back to the uh, researcher. The team is known as the questionnaire. Okay. So let us discuss what you mean by this questionnaire. A questionnaire is like a research instrument and consisting a series of questions for the purpose of gathering information from the respondents. It's like the instrument consisting the series of the questions for the purpose of gathering information from you, the respondents. That means it is like a group of the questions and the bunches of the questions given to the respondents for getting of the information. The team is known as you are the, the questionnaire. That can be carried out by the face-to-face interview. Alle, namke palapol questionnaire collecti yanda palapol namke face-to-face ayi kam telephonic ayi kam computer ayi kam palle idam questionnaire collecti yanda. So what is the questionnaire? It's like a series of questions for the purpose of gathering information from you, the, the respondent. The team is known as you, the questionnaire. And what are the important types of the questions are associated with the questionnaire? And these are the different types of questions are associated with the questionnaire. One is a closed question, another one is open question. Dichotomous question, multiple choice question, scale question, and pictorial question. And the closed question means there is a yes or no question. There is a, one is yes, another one is no. That is a option. That is a available format. It is a part of dichotomous scale. The closed question is structure of the answers, allowing the responses with fit into the pre-desired category. One is yes, another one is no. It is an example regarding the closed question. An open question means that is to give the freedom. The open question means allow the people to express the, their feelings on the words. Can be open-ended question. That means let's give the freedom. The researcher give the freedom to express your own the feelings. The type of the question is known as your the open question. That providing certain space for write your own comments regarding certain activities. So that is a part of the open questions. Allow the people to explore the what they think and they are the own words. The team is known as your the open question. Another one is dichotomous on a scale question. That means a part of the closed question. That means uh, is yes or no format. That is a part of the closed in the question. That is a dichotomous question. So it's known as a, uh, is a part of the closed question. And another one is a multiple choice question. Give the multiple choice format. It's a one, two, three, four answers are given. And you just tick uh, which is the correct format. That is a multiple choice question. It's a part of the question. Here. And the scaling question, that means the five point scale or the seven point scale question for measuring the activity. That is the same is known as a scaled question. And another one is a pictorial question. That means give a lot of the pictures and the respondents the freedom to choose certain pics as per their point of view. The team is known as a pictorial question. This helps the respondent choose the answers quickly without overthinking the answers, give the more accurate data method. That means pictures are given to the Respond. The pictures or images are given to the respondent. The respondents are picking the certain images as uh, relevant to this question. The team is known as the pictorial questions. And these are different types of questions that are associated with questionnaire. The one is a closed question that means basically a sort of format. Open question that means that directly express their own view. Third one is the dichotomous scale that is a sort of format. It's a multiple choice question, the scale question, and this pictorial question. These are different types of questions that are associated with your the questionnaire. And what are the factors to be considered for the questionnaire? Suppose you are framing questionnaire, what are the important factors to be considered for the questionnaire? So these are, these are the important factors to be considered for the questionnaire. One is A, another length, the policy, the question order, terminology and the presentation. The first one is A. The A is very one of the important element for making of the questionnaire. So what is the basic objective for making this questionnaire? And that's the first important thing. Make, make sure that all questions are asked to address the aim of your research. That means focusing on the objective of the research. That's the first important factors to be considered for the question. That's the aim. Second one is the length. The length of the question is very important element. The longer of the questionnaire, the, question the lesser like people will be completed. Means questionnaire must be simple format. It means simple and easy to understand. It should be clear. That means uh, to avoid the length of the questions. Lengthy question must be avoided and also try to reduce the length of your questionnaire. The second one is the length. Unnecessary questions should be tried to omit. That's the second one. And pile study. That means the final questionnaire are 
created after this pilot study so after the pilot study can be eliminating the lot of the questions from either questionnaire so the final questionnaire will be uh, created after the pilot study then question order the sequence you know the order is very important element of the questionnaire because uh, the you know the personal question you know the uh, geographical questions so there is a classification of the different elements of the question so if the questions are properly ordered should be progressed logically from the least sen sensitive to the most sensitive format otherwise most sensitive format to the least sensitive format that means the proper order is essential and our terminology the that means using the words in the questionnaire so the using the simple vocabulary simple vocabulary for your the questionnaire that is the terminology and the last one is the presentation that's make sure that it's look a professional format and must be ensure there's a professionalism of your the questionnaire that is one as your the the presentation and these are the important factors kinds of a questionnaire the one is aim length pilot study question order terminology and the presentation these are the factors to be considered for the mydel questionnaire okay what are the different types of questionnaire so we already discussed the different types of questions and that's we discussing what the different types of uh, types of questionnaire and here there is a interesting questionnaire like computer format questionnaire the telephone questionnaire the in house questionnaire and the mail questionnaire so well, these are different uh, types of the questionnaire so once again the first is the computer questionnaire and this type of questionnaire is a purely depends upon the online medium the team is known as your the uh of computer questions suppose you are sending the question form of the google form that is a computer based questionnaire so that is the first category questionnaire is a computer questionnaire and another one is telephone questionnaire that means researcher make a phone call respond and collect the response directly that is known as a telephone that means the telephone is one of the important medium for collecting the questions from your the respondents so uh, the researcher asking the certain question through the telephone that team is known as the telephonic questionnaire and third one is in house questionnaire that means question conducted by the researcher that visit the home or the workplace of the respondent at a certain situation if the respondents are forced to uh, reach the house of the uh, respond uh, research is forced to like uh, suppose researcher is palapon forced to respond to vtb or data collect in order the time is known as the in house questionnaire and another one is a mailed questionnaire that means you are sending the questionnaire through the the mail that mean നമ്മൾ മെയിലായിട്ട് നടന്ന ഡാറ്റ വായിക്കും നമ്മൾ മെയിൽ സർവേ പറഞ്ഞു അപ്പോൾ മെയിലായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് അയച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഡാറ്റ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യും ദറ്റ്സ് അനദർ ഫോം ആയിട്ട് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദറ്റ്സ് എ മെയിൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അത് ഈസ് ആർ ദ ദ ഫോർ കാറ്റഗറി ഓഫ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യർ ദ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ യുവർ ടെലിഫോൺ ഫോർമാറ്റ് ദറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ഹൗസ് ആൻഡ് ദ മെയിൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ദ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് സപ്പോസ് യു യൂസിങ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വാട്ട് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യർ സോ ലിസൺ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യർ ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഓൾവേസ് ഫെസിലിറ്റേറ്റ് ദ ഗുഡ് സർവി you can get the lot of the data with help of lesser time that's one of the important advantages of the question to get the lot of the data with less time another one is it is a logical question based on the respondent and answer and will remind the common group and respondent that fall in the same segment that mean can be collect the response of the same similar group can easily collect the response of the similar group that is second important advantage of the question here and third one is uh, the conducting of the survey online survey software is really quick and cost effective suppose we can use a google form for collecting that like a software format for connecting the cost effective format that's so your questionnaire is always cost effective devices and another advantage is the questionnaire can be customized to reflect your the brand voice does it can be used for the brand image your questionnaire can be improve your the brand image and the last one is the response can be compared with the historical data suppose with the help of the questionnaire can collect a lot of the information and can be easily collect the information with the historical data these are the important advantages of the questionnaire the one is you are the, the lot of the time uh, means reducing time constraints and getting the right information and this is a cost effective devices in customized format the, then also the historical data is collected with your questionnaire these are the important advantages of the questionnaire so once again the, the, what you mean by this uh, the question uh, questionnaire the questionnaire means like a the tool for collecting the data from the respondents and uh, that means it's uh, like a series of questions for the purpose of gathering information for the respond the team is known as a questionnaire and these are different types of the questions are associated with the questionnaire the close question open question dichotomous question the multiple choice question scale question and pictorial question and these are factors to be considered questionnaire aim length the pilot study the questions order the terminology and the presentations and these are different types of question the computer question telephone question and in house research and mail questionnaire and these are the advantages of the
questionnaire so once again let me conclude the first we discuss what you mean by the team is you are the the content analysis the content analysis is a tool for the measuring the primary data and determine the presence of certain words themes concept within the some qualitative point of view that is stainless in the content analysis and this is the use of the content analysis and different types of content there is a conceptual analysis and relational analysis and the steps advantages and the limitation of the content analysis and this is a tool for the questionnaire and different types of the questions and factors to be considered for the questionnaire and types of questionnaire and these are the advantages of the, the questionnaire okay thank you so much and thank you for watching me